I'm uh, Joseph Lowen Gray, Lowen meaning lion in German. Uh, it's very fancy. And I'm the director. Being a director for me, it just means being in charge of everyone and everything. Well done, Jim. Well done, Jim. Aiden! Aiden! Please, Aiden. I just got a hot. Uh, uh, well, Joe look, does look after me. He's a very good director, and he just he helps calm me down sometimes. <laughs> Thank you, Aiden. Thank you. Good job. He didn't have that much of an ego at the time. He was quite humble. But then, after all, all, all the media training I and the PR team gave him, he turned into this egotistical just sadistic beast and I loved it, I loved it, it was amazing. The thing is, with me and Joe, we're like lovers without the sex. Hi, I'm Aiden, I'm uh, the assistant today. Well, I, I don't know exactly what I am, I get, I get changed between roles occasionally, but, but I was doing sound sometimes. Yes, uh, yeah, he's, a, he's an alright trainee, he spends quite a lot of time finding like lentils or Obscure olives, but when he's on set, he's, he's getting there. It's, it's his lunch, he likes lentils. <laughs> he, he gave it to me a couple of hours ago, so hold this. I'm still, still holding it. In many ways, Joe's life is a disaster, and in film, that's what you want. You want him to roll as a disaster, and we, we allow him to roll. It does mean he has lots of material for his films. He does. A lot of them are autobiographical. Hi man. Can I um? Can I? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, it's good. You know. Okay. Can I um? Question. Can I get some more lentils next next film? Because because I, mean, I I'm, I'm finding I can't cope without them. Yeah. And no. um, it's, it's scary. Of course. No, no, no. Just, shh, shh, I know. It's okay. Shh. <laughs> shh. Aiden. Sorry, sorry. You, you're sorry. Aiden. Oh, sorry. Where are the fucking lentils? <laughs> I don't know what to do with them, they're wrapped up in clean It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Daddy's got you, daddy's got you. I do love a good bit of folio of the lentils. Takes me back to when I first met Joe, actually. Found him sort of raggling around in the dirt, down the street. Picked him up, gave him a camera, told him to get some folio so, down. He wouldn't thrive unless he had a selling point. And I knew that selling point could frankly be that, you know, him being an arsehole, you know? In many ways, the film of being an arsehole is always present. Yes. And uh, we just have to tone it down. We have to, we have to tone down the amount of arsehole in Joe's films. Excuse me, can I, can I get my tea bag? I'm getting a bit edgy. Tea bag, we please. Director needs a tea bag. Where's the tea bag? Thank you so much. Oh. It's all part of the process. I mean, we don't really have a purpose, I mean... Oh no, we're just here to make bank, you know? Um, roam um, around set, just eating craft food, and yeah. just having a whale of a time, right? Absolutely, you know. Well, <laughs> I mean, even the great pharaohs needed slaves. I mean, how else am I, how else am I going to build my pyramid? We got a ranch like Lenny and George, you know? Steinbeck. I mean... I'm not going to lie, there are several departments that don't need to be there. Uh, I'm a Christian, I'm the production designer on most of Joe's productions. This is my assistant, Hazel. Why am I assistant? I thought... Production design. <sighs> my films kind of come together, it's a gift I have. I mean, I can build things, as I've said before, and I don't need these idiots fiddling with things in the background between takes. I don't care what colour the curtains are. I care that the audience are crying and I'm getting an Oscar. A shiny man's face on my desk, thank you very much. Yeah, I feel uh, Joe really appreciates us on set. I mean, the crew've got a lot of time for us, but yeah. people get temperamental at times. Really no, like as production design, I think there's a lot going on with that. I mean, <laughs> sometimes, you know, people get, Easter egg, get a bit temperamental, but we're always okay. looked after. And I think as production design, you can be overlooked at times, but... But uh, we don't feel that way. Like, yeah. yeah. As a production designer, you've always got to be prepared on set. Well, um, we always like to carry a 
the tape measure with me. Yeah. Always got marking out sets. But sometimes it's like marking out Joe's ego. It just gets bigger, yeah. bigger, and bigger. I can work magic with anything, my friend. I don't need this. Through that, we managed to just build a film empire. Go, Joe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go, Joe. Yeah. Cash flow, you know. We met each other about. 15 years ago, a Nickelback concert, you know, it was a pretty busy gig, about a thousand people. Joe's agent uh, took us on, uh, kind of, we uh, did sort him out. Nathaniel. Yeah, Nathaniel, good guy. Um, kind of met him um, at a Nickelback concert. Yeah, Nickelback, Nickelback, concert. Nickelback. In many ways, I uh, fell into my role with Joe. And mm. It was uh, after a disaster, a Nickelback concert involving a young black kid and two art design students. It was messy. Well, I'm sound, but it's ironic because the song Photograph actually really captured me at that moment. You should see the ideas that Joe comes to us with. And we say to him, Joe, there's certain sites for that, but Facebook is not one of them. And Twitter isn't either. And certainly not Instagram and Snapchat. That is true. Oh. But everything me and Joe do together, 15 million a year just isn't enough. It just doesn't really cut it. Enough to buy a freaking pony. If you were to search his other name, Johannes, as a film director, you'd find very different films, a very yeah, different genre. Yeah, yeah, don't mention that. Don't, you leave some contract on that. Yeah, we did. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Do I enjoy oh, it? Is the sky blue? This guy. This guy. This guy. This guy. Come on, of course I. How can you not enjoy creating beautiful scenes and sets every single day? To get shot on by Joe! <laughs> Fucking out, Hazel. I'm quitting, okay? I'm handing over I'm, to you, production designer. <sighs> Joe! did have aspirations when he was a young child of uh, being the president of England. And we told him, Joe, that's impractical. So he became mayor of Hereford instead. Exactly. Yeah, three years running. I mean, have you heard of Hereford? I mean, who's heard of Hereford? That's because of Joe. We covered Hereford up because of Joe. <laughs> I mean, the budget, the budget was 20 million. So we asked Joe, we got, got the money and it's in post now, so. So he literally turned a piece of garbage into a film. Worth twenty million. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is my lovely lead actress, uh, Florence Dinflondon Dubo. Um, it's it's Florence Dinflondon Dubo, actually. Oh, I don't Dubo. care. So I was I was in the park. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. Oh, you Just bitch. Saying. So I was in the park, and I um I I was watching the children play because it's it's what I like to do. They they inspire me more than anything, and um. I, mean, I just caught you could not have sounded more oh, creepy good right now. grief home. woman I was in the park and I caught at the corner of my eye and I've got good eyes uh, this potato plant just growing just growing living its life and I thought wow where did you come from sir yeah and how can I this fight? is nothing to do with what I was told to be here for today why don't you lead? I thought, I thought Florence Bonden well, Dingalongalo. Go on. Go Oh, good the lord. Time! The only person whose name matters is mine. You're supposed to be talking about our film? Talk about our about film? About Talk about our film then! Talk about the film. Talk about. Go, go! Go! Talk about the film. Talk, like talk about the film. You no, never, you talk ever about the film. So, Get her out! Get her out! Get her out! <laughs> Fuck you, Joe! <laughs>